Okay, hey friends, what's good? What's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello. If you're new here, I'm Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. This is the channel where we watch movies together and I let you know what's going on in my brain the whole entire time I'm watching them. And we do it with our filmmaking thinking caps on because I think that's the most fun way to watch a movie. So if you want someone to sit here silently and emote, find somebody else, baby. We get weird. We get chatty. We cheer and I tell you about every random thought that comes into my brain. Yeah, that's the spiel. Don't forget to stick around to the end of one of my videos where we do the IMDb movie trivia together. But anyway, today's video is going to be True Romance from 1993. This has been requested heavily on the channel. It has come up a lot on my live streams and I'm excited. I'm excited for a number of reasons. Let's talk about it. Okay, Tarantino. But Tarantino is not the director. Tarantino is the writer. Writer. So that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see some Tarantino storytelling. But the director is Tony Scott. Now, Tony Scott, I just found out, is freaking related to Ridley Scott. What the actual hell? Tony Scott did Top Gun. I'm pretty certain. And yeah, he did Top Gun. That's pretty nutty. Okay, let's see Tony Scott's directing credits. Oh, he did Man on Fire. Freaking love Man on Fire. True Romance is where we're at now in 93. Before this, he did Top Gun, baby. Okay, so I just cannot believe the Ridley Scott connection. That actually, I just found that out like last month when we did a Ridley Scott movie. I forget which one. I think it was one of the Blade Runners. But anyway, Tony Scott directed, Tarantino written. So I'm expecting some hyper violence and some snazzy dialogue and some characters who are always right. Because in a Tarantino flick, this isn't, this isn't specific to Tarantino. Everybody does it. But Tarantino writes some characters where I feel like they could convince you to jump off a bridge. They could, they could convince you of anything, a Tarantino penned character. They're charismatic and they've got points of view. And I'm excited to keep my eye out for that. Okay, this is the point in one of my videos where I'm going to thank the members who set up my $15 tier. If you are on that tier on my Patreon, you get an extra special shout out. Extra special shout out. You get an extra special shout out in every single one of my videos. So this month, we are thanking Code Monkey, Ube Welder, C Palmer, Alex, Muggy, DJ Kento, John, Cody, Christopher, Courtney, Reef, Martin, Ethan, Tom, Hamichanga, David, Burwinkle, Brian, Sean, Grizzmore, Daniel, Jason, and Moto Dork. Thank you guys so freaking much for supporting me just a little bit extra. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is going to be True Mance. True Mance, which is going to be True Romance from 1993. I'm so annoying. Get it, Tony. All right, Tarantino, drop us right in. Uh, I mean, he is rockabilly. In that movie, he couldn't give a f about nothing. This is so Tarantino. Somebody's proven a point, minute one, frame one. I watched that hillbilly and I want to be him so bad. Elvis looked good. He wants, he wants to be Elvis. I always said, if I had to f guy. No, I mean, had to. If I had to. You want to take me to a kung fu movie? It's not really my cup of tea. I get it, girl. I get it. They're not your thing. True romance. Interesting soundtrack right here. Huh. New York? New York City? That's what I'm gonna call it. I had to go Hans. Tallahassee, Florida. To Motor City, Detroit to find Detroit, my true love. Ford, Chanel, Detroit. He took himself. Good for him. Oh, look what happened. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? When you walk into a movie theater, is it ever this well lit? Hell no. You're blind. She's serious? Can we do that? Listen, do you mind filling me in on what I missed? Listen, wait for me. No, no. Uh, she just came in and spotted him and was like, you, I'm I'm targeting this guy. Get these, this, this guy. You've got popcorn all over you. Thanks. Maybe she wants a sale tonight. She is a 
prostitute? Just after I see a movie, I like to go get a piece of pie and talk about it. It's sort of a little tradition I have. I'm into that. Take me to a diner. Yes. I love some pie. In my life. Yes. Oh, I love a diner in a movie. A young, really good looking corpse. Um. Which movie opened in the diner? Pulp Fiction? Or was it Reservoir Dogs? What kind of music you like? Bill Spector. She's mysterious. Is she scheming? Later on in the story, gets in this fight with this Nazi bastard. True romance. And we're lonely. Oh, what's the song in Top Gun that always plays when they do the romance? This was literally the love scene in Top Gun. It was all in silhouette. Look at that, outdoor space in a big city. People pay a premium for that. I have something I gotta tell you. Let's hear your secrets, babe. He called the place where I work, he ordered a girl for you. He said he wanted you to get laid. See, you didn't get out much and it was your birthday and all. That I'm not damaged good. I'm not what they call Florida white trash. You hear the Hans Zimmer plucky score? I'm with you and I'm with you. And I don't want anybody else. This is true love. Me being a car going on. But I think I love you. Living up to the title, you guys. Hans Zimmer really does this a lot. It's so, like, happy. I'm not lying to you. And I swear from this moment forth, I'll never lie to you again. They're getting married. Uh, hello, Mr. Worley. How do you do, Mr. Worley? I knew it was going to be a cut to a wedding. <laughs> Clarence on the tattoo. <laughs> I was only there for four days. He got a little bit rough the other day. What do you mean, with you? What you motherfucking talking about? Floyd say you don't be eating pussy. That must be him. D, you saying you eat pussy? Yeah, motherfucker, I eat everything. I eat the <laughs> 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 No, man, f you guys, man. You guys f up. Love these characters. All right, peep this. What are we demonstrating? <laughs> Guys, what the f? What the f? What? I was waiting for our, a crime to happen. That was her pimp. <laughs> what is she doing? Are you home? You want to get on the haunted? I do want to kill him, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life in jail. I want my inner voice to be Elvis. Clarence, I like you. I always have. Always will. This is freaking quirky. I tell you, it's going to be fine. I'll be in and out of there. Hmm. These two were feeling a little bit Bonnie and Clyde in the beginning, but now it's just him. Also, it's so f up they killed Samuel L. Jackson so soon in this movie. It's just not fair. Truly, you've robbed the public of what they want. My man, Samuel L. I want to talk to Drexel. What the f Look at his Elvis ass glasses. He was asking about Alabama. What up, Drexel? You look stupid. I'm her husband. Yeah. Who is this, actor-wise? Maybe he don't. Maybe this fool's such a bad motherfucker. That envelope right there had some payoff money. Alabama's moving on to some greener pastures. We're not negotiating. I don't like to barter. That's what he came to do? I'm just trying to lend a girl a helping hand. What the fuck? Where did all the fish tanks come from? This is a pet shop? Guys, what's happening? What is this location? Ow. Well, well, well. Look at what we got here. No, now he's like totally on his radar. And I make a million dollar bet that Alabama's at the same address. Marty. Oh my god, a little Mr. Wannabe Elvis. Okay, okay. 
Get a bag and put Alabama seeds in it. Right. I said open. It's gonna get him. Is he gonna get him? Okay, all right, okay. There's the Tarantino. I was carrying your child. <laughs> okay, bro. I hope you got your license. Uh, you can't stay here. Mm. No, that's probably the best goddamn. I feel so behind. I'm like, it's good. Oh, guys. Come on, eat something. You feel better. Yo, when you're starving and you get a burger and some coke, oh my god. <gasps> Sensory experience. Would you rather have been me? Is that it? Huh? Is that what you want? I mean, do you love. You're a psycho. I think what you did. What? Was so romantic. <laughs> This is like the Adams family. Like everything's about to be opposite day. And if I told them, <sighs> they these aren't my clothes. <laughs> he said pack up Alabama's things. Where's Brad Pitt? Can we? Can someone just show me Brad Pitt? I'm ready. And I expected to see this more. Yeah, well, that's okay, Daddy. I didn't have that effect on people. Is he gonna tell Dad about the drugs? What's up? Daddy, nice ain't the word. I mean, this girl, she's a peach, you know. And yeah, she even tastes like a peach. She even tastes like a peach. What? I'm in. I'm in big trouble. I just. I really need your help. No, 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 stop talking. What do you want from me? What? What do you want from me? He's a security guard. Can he even help? Well, then could you just find out if they know anything about us? I don't think they know but I don't want to think. I want to know for sure. I mean, you could do that, right? But what makes you think that I would do that? Because I'm your son. I'm basically a pretty resourceful guy. If I didn't really need it, I wouldn't ask. But you, I mean, if you want to say no. So another character making a lot of good points, right? Me. A me. Come inside. Okay. Yes, a casting director. Ready? Yeah. I'm, I'm driving. We see that. <laughs> Shoot him. Get him. I'm very impressed. You're a very fine actor. <laughs> we'll let you know. That did not go well. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Flipped in the other one there. She's so cool. They think it's drug related. Uh, drug related? Why drug related? Well, apparently Drexler had his uh, big toe stuck in it. Really? Really? Oh. The more I hear about this Drexel, the more I think he did the right thing. Aw. Thanks, Dad. They'll just assume Drexel had a falling out with Blue Lou. And once you leave town, I wouldn't even worry about it. I'm still concerned about his license. I don't think it made it back. I hope everything works out with you and Alabama. I like her. And I think you make a real cute couple. Don't you guys feel like tonally this feels like Fargo? It's real serious, but the family moments are so just like lovey and quirky. And then Hans Zimmer's score is literally highlighting the comedy. It's very fun. Guys, is. Never look at dad the same way again. Mm. Tastes like a peach. <laughs> oh my god. Hello? Hello, Hello baby. baby. Clarence? You got it. Yeah. Clarence, hi, this is Alabama Whirly. Oh, how are you doing, Alabama Whirly? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> all right, tell him as, tomorrow, as of tomorrow, all of his money. All your money. Oh, how long's it gonna be? This is fun, funny, sexy, quirky, violent, comedic. I have to write down this movie has everything. Why didn't Tarantino direct this? Hey, hey, Rommel! Hey. I thought it, I think it would have been cool. Oh, shit. <gasps> Walk in! Tell Luca to go outside and do you know what? My fault, do something to get that body. That was Italian. I thought maybe James Gandolfini behind him. Do you know who I am, Mr. Woolley? Tracy Turnblad's dad. The Antichrist. <laughs> you got me in a vendetta kind of mood. The Antichrist. 
My name is Vincent Cocotti. I work as consul for Mr. Blue Lou Boyle, the man your son stole from. <gasps> you see that? <laughs> and smart, doesn't it? We talked to your neighbors. They saw a Cadillac. Purple Cadillac. Oh, are we call that purple? I called it pink. Because your son, the cowboy, his flame, came in the room blazing and didn't stop till they were pretty sure everybody was dead. Your son, the cowboy, this dialogue. I love this Christopher Walken character. But your son left his driver's license in a dead guy's hand. And said that. I fing said that. And I never thought to ask. Christopher Walken is so scary. Ah! No! Nothing. Sicilians are great liars. Best. I'm Sicilian. There are 17 different things a guy can do when he lies to give himself away. Mm. Guy's got 17. What did he do? What we got here. It's a little game of show and tell. You don't want to show me nothing, but you tell me everything. That dialogue, little game of show and tell. You're Sicilian, huh? Sicilian. This music, it's like romantic. Here's a fact, I don't know whether you know or not. Sicilians were spawned by... But, uh, well, then the Moors moved in there and... Uh, that they changed the whole bloodline forever. He's gonna really try to get under his skin. Hundreds of years later, that Sicilians still carry that gene. This is horrifying, but I see what he's doing, trying to get under his skin. And the music choice right now is is giving me life. It is so funny. It's like classical music, choral piece. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he's gonna kill this man. Christopher Walken's gonna. Pop them off. That's my guess. He's going to kill him. I don't trust this. Go to this comedian's son's apartment. Well. Hey, boss. What the f Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. That sequence was chilling and awesome. It was funny. It was tense. Reminded me of Goodfellas when Pesci is going, you think I'm a clown? You think I'm funny? We are in L.A. with his terrible actor friend. Floyd! <gasps> Floyd! His roommate is Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt can play so dirty and grimy if he wants to. <laughs> Safari Inn. I know where this is. Holy Mary, mother of God. Holy Mary, mother of God. Big shots. Guys who could afford $200,000 and guys who could use a, a whole suitcase full of cocaine. Basically, Clarence, guys I don't know. And guys you don't know. Good speech, friend. There's one guy that I know that could help you out, Clarence, but... I'm not guaranteeing you anything. Where should we, where should we meet? Six Flags. I know. Street, so, you know, you can't see it. Works perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever in a million years think to set a scene in your movie on a roller coaster? Did he trust you? Hey, trust me. We're in 4 H together. We've known each other since childhood. All right, he's kind of paranoid. I didn't tell you nothing. No, no, I didn't. You didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear nothing. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> This is fun. This is so insane. I mean, again, they could have set this scene anywhere. They put it on a freaking roller coaster. Elliot, do I look like a beautiful blonde with big tits and an ass taste like French vanilla ice cream? What? <laughs> nope. But don't expect me and my friends to hang around forever waiting for you guys to grow some guts, all right? <gasps> oh, Jesus. Can you tell me why I'm talking to you on Sunday? I don't see enough of you all week. I got to talk to you on Sunday, too. <laughs> You, just some idiot. Don't give me the finger! I'll f have you killed! It's a good guy to be dealing with. You want me to suck his dick? Oh, who the f 
is Dick. A uh, Dick is my he Oh my god, the quirk. Three o'clock, Beverly Ambassador, he wants to see everybody. Did you tell him I was an actor? You told him I was good? Yeah, I lied. Yeah, I lied. And I know him. They've been by here. You seen them? Mm hmm They stay in here? No, they're staying at the Safari Motor. All right, you take care. I might be back. Yeah. Okay, be cool. Tell me that's Brad's whole part. I'll die. Babalu, you were perfect. Like a ninja? Like a ninja. Babe, I'm gonna grab us some deep, all right? Okay. These clowns. Love them. Hi. Hi. Why are you in my room? It's just a practice. <laughs> Give me a hand. Is he gonna hurt her? Knew he was gonna hurt her, but damn. I'm so good at this. And uh, two large diet cokes. Anything else? <laughs> the cut too. Where's my coke? And <laughs> It's like she fell off the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. Mm. Come on, girl. Stab him. You want to play with daddy? Come on. Come on! Come on! Okay, the foot was a good choice. I th I like that choice. That was good. I would have never thought of that. Or maybe I would have if I was at that angle. Hmm. How would I behave if I was there? All right. No more, Mr. Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You look ridiculous! <laughs> you look ridiculous? Back of the toilet. Yeah. Damn. Safari in. Whoa. Honestly, good for her. It was gonna be, it was a him or me scenario. They're so dumb. They gotta ditch the pink Cadillac. He thought he was untouchable. Who the f do you think you're <laughs> Sucks to suck. Hi. Oh my god, I love that. That's good. Oh, but now we got you, okay, Mr. Elliot? Actor, you just made the big time. You're no longer an extra. Or a bit player. Or a You're no longer an extra or a bit player. So they bring the suspect to me and Nicholson and we go to work on him. And Nicholson and I. Nicholson, what's the f difference? Tarantino characters always gotta be right. Prove me wrong. He's making a deal between them and his boss. Big time movie producer named Lee Donowitz. Elliot told them everything. Damn. Just starting new lives, leaving Detroit. <laughs> Vacations, business trips. Their lover's theme is back on. Hear it? Where do you think we should go, my little turtle dove? Cancun. I was like, Italy. Hey, hi, Catherine. I was just walking out. The... What? No. Serious? He got the part? I got the part. Wow. I got the part. <laughs> That's great. They didn't even want to call back. What happened? This is gun ASMR. Click, click, click. Look at me. Are you comfortable? Listen, Elliot, that's the best place for it, okay? If they mm -hmm. pat you down, they're not going to search your balls. I Elliot, hear. we've we, done this a thousand times. We know what we're doing, okay? We're the best at... Now, listen. I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like this is the kind of movie where they get away with it, I hope. And they run away to Cancun. I don't know. It could be cool. Bam, you really got that playing basketball? Hurl the ball right when I'm not looking. Bam! <laughs> right you got that playing basketball? <laughs> oh, this is their Wednesday meeting, the Beverly Ambassador. Hey. Hey. Hi. What's up? Hi. <laughs> oh, no. So get in your face. Bluff. Come to my rescue, everything with me. <laughs> Such a baby. Elliot, I'm sorry, all right? 
It was a bluff. <laughs> I'm, I'm I just had to be sure. It's on. It's on. I'm sure now, okay? Because he started blubbering like a baby. I like this Claire's kid. This guy's crazy. <laughs> no. Yeah, go down. You guys want to smoke a bowl or... Oh. Go. <laughs> oh. Everybody, this is Monty. Hi. Come on in. Lee's in the can. He'll be out in a quick. Does Lee get in trouble too? It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Honey, sit down. Relax. Relax. <laughs> I think this is gonna turn funny. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what is Joe like? Uh, body, bag body bags too. Body bags too. So you're getting the bargain of a lifetime because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional. I'm a rank amateur. <sighs> They're not gonna get it. I'm kind of happy. I'm like, good. I want them to get away with it. Elliot tells me that you're fronting for a dirty cop. Why does he trust you? Well, we grew up together, that's why. Elliot, I love this kid. Money, get the money. Touch it, fellas. Let's get these sons of bitches. They got it? I'm not really sure what they got. I didn't hear. Uh, no, wait, wait, no, wait. I completely forgot. Excuse me. What is your partner's again? What did you beat her or something? No, no, she got that playing basketball. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm sorry. Keep it together, Elliot. I got a hand to you, Clarence. I was cool. Man, you were cool and cool. Cody, on three. Yeah. One, two. And Christian Slater is like always just like out during this. He's always just doing something else. Yeah, 211. Oh my God, no, these guys are going to come in. Stop. Holy sh**. Mother f is going <laughs> We got the mob. We got the cops. I like you, Clarence. Always have. Always will. It's all that matters to him. What? Officer Dimes. He's gonna out himself. Officer Dimes. What? This has nothing to do with me anymore, right? <gasps> oh my god. I treated you like a son! You stabbed me in the heart! I was expecting this. Every Tarantino script ever has one of these. We're gonna call it the 10th hour bloodbath. My favorite one of these ever in a, in a Tarantino film is Django. Comment below what's your favorite. Him and Alabama are gonna sneak right out. Oh, maybe not. Is he dead? <laughs> oh, he's breathing. <sighs> Behind the couch, okay? Capiche? That's bad. That's bad. Wait. Son of a bitch shot me. I'm like, is he dead? He has a bullet to the head, right? <sighs> you are bleeding. I'll call you a hearse. Call you a hearse. This is for Cody. That guy looked like celebrity chef Mario Batali. Oh my God, everyone's dead. Did I expect anything else? What's wrong with me? Everyone is dead. They're gonna take some Coke and get the hell out of here. Okay, they should have at least a parking ticket on that car, though. I'm just gonna say that. Yup, Cancun, baby. Like a broken record. You're so cool. You're so cool. She wrote that on the napkin. I always smile, as if I'm not going to satisfy him with a response. <laughs> Why are they so cute? <laughs> the criminals. Except maybe I wouldn't have named our son Elvis. <laughs> I was wondering why the choice of this instrument the whole movie and now I'm thinking is it the steel drum for like Cancun? I don't know. That was I'm so dumb. Gary it was Gary Oldman who was Drexel. That was fun. Let's talk about it. Okay I really liked that story. I think I saw this during my watch so at this rate I'm just repeating myself. I felt like this was just everything. It was like violent but funny, romantic, but f up, 
so quirky, silly, and grand. I feel like every word applies to this movie. I saw the Tarantino writing all up over this, and I'm a little bit shocked. Why wouldn't Tarantino direct this? His characters are just unmatched. Everyone is just the man. Everyone's so funny. Everyone is making a great point despite being not a good person. And that, to me, is really classic Tarantino. Everyone's, like, kind of bad, and yet you're rooting for them. It's bananas. It's like, how? You know, and like in the end, I don't really want them them to get captured. You know, I don't want Alabama and Clarence to, you know, get in trouble. I want them to get away. I want them to get to Cancun. And I did start having a hunch that it would be that kind of movie where they would just walk and get away with it, which is just the best. And tonally, this was like super, this felt like a Coen Brothers movie. I was like comparing it to Fargo. And I don't think that that's off. I think that they're very much contemporaries. You know, the Coens and Tarantino and Tony Scott and all that. So that doesn't really, yeah, that's got to be true. Yeah. And we got the, the Tarantino 10th hour bloodbath. So I just really felt like that script was so good. I might have been biased going in knowing that it was a Tarantino script. So then I was like specifically looking out for it, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoy the characters. I enjoy the script. I can't help that I like what I like. So ultimately, I feel like let's get into some trivia because trivia always sparks more for me. All right. Brad Pitt improvised most of his lines. Okay. He's pretty good at playing high. Tarantino named the Sicilian scene as one of his proudest moments. I had heard that whole speech about Sicilians a long time ago from a black guy living in my house. One day I was talking with a friend who was Sicilian. I just started telling him that speech and I thought, wow, that's a great scene. I gotta remember that. This movie is considered part of the Tarantino universe, though not directed by him. Tony Scott originally wanted Val Kilmer to play Clarence. Okay, so Elvis was mentor and that was Val Kilmer. So we like hardly saw Val Kilmer in this movie. That really threw me for a loop. I gotta say, I was like looking high and low for Val Kilmer. I thought for a second he was Drexel. I I think this is a real testament to Gary Oldman. That is not the first time, I think on the channel, but in general, I never recognized Gary Oldman, man. He just transforms so entirely. I I can never tell it's him. I didn't catch him in The Fifth Element, maybe that was the one I didn't get him in. Some Something on the channel, I did not recognize him at all, which is crazy. Okay, back to the trivia. As a temporary track, film editor put Outshined by Soundgarden in the scene where Stoner Brad Pitt gives directions to the henchmen. The result was such a hit at test screenings that a good portion of the music budget went for obtaining the rights to use the hit song in the final film. Tarantino said he never visited set. Wow, during filming. Screenplay of this movie was originally part of a 500-page screenplay written by Tarantino and Roger Avery called The Open Road. The other half of it was used for Natural Born Killers. In both films, Tom Sizemore plays a cop. Crazy. Do we have to see Natural Born Killers? Michael Rapaport, unfortunately, has a fear of roller coasters. That scene took two days. By the second day, the crew was prepared for this. They gave him something to calm his nerves. As a result, one can easily tell from cut to cut which day a particular moment was filmed by watching his face in the background. (laughs) Oh, whoa, I think Tony Scott changed the ending. Tony loved them and wanted them to walk away. I wanted to be tough, but I don't know what it is about Tony Scott, but I'm a complete pussycat in his hands. He could probably talk me into doing anything. Now, I gotta say, I think Tony's ending is better for the movie Tony made. So Tarantino was in psyched. I think Tarantino had them dying and um, Tony wanted them to walk away. Roller coaster scene originally written to have taken place in a zoo. Tony Scott changed it to give the movie an adrenaline rush. Wow, so that's Tony Scott. That was cool because I remember at that moment I was I said, you can, you're a writer. You can set this scene anywhere. How exciting and how cool to pick roller coaster. That really just like jolted me awake. Tarantino's mom's favorite film of his. I think this is very entertaining. They keep referring to the ending as a Mexican standoff, and I just realized I don't know what that is. Is that just a shootout? Uh, shoot out where everyone dies mexican standoff is a confrontation where no strategy exists that allows any party to achieve victory anyone initiating aggression might trigger their own demise oh tarantino does this all the time this is like his thing that he does that's what it's called well i was today years old friends sorry that took me so long i think this movie was made for not that much money 15 million let's find it 13 million oh i was close i love getting close and it was six flags magic mountain i said that some say the 1993, 1993 movie True Romance is a 93 version of Bonnie and Clyde. It's a neo-noir romantic crime film written by Quentin Tarantino and directed by Tony Scott. So people are also comparing that too. I just kind of wanted to see if people are saying similar things to what I was saying and seeing, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just fun. It's just fun for me. Okay, so you've now seen my reaction to True Romance. Now I want to hear from you. Comment below. What did you think? 
Did you see it then? Did you see it now? Did you see it then and then again now? I would love to know that. So you're going to have to let me know. If you want more from me, my Patreon is in the description box below. Hit that link. It'll take you there where you can watch my full length, unedited, unfiltered reaction to this movie and hundreds of others. If you wouldn't mind, please give this video a like, please please do subscribe if you haven't already at this rate it's just rude to keep coming back without subscribing don't you guys think yeah so that's that on that and you know the drill i'm gonna go eat